What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for 7 Days to Die. Home train! Alright, guys, we are back on vanilla. I know you guys love vanilla. We're back on vanilla. And we could be extra hyped today, okay? Because thanks to some people in the comments a few videos back, and a special shout out to Carefra? I have no idea how to say that name. K A E R F R A W. Um, he actually took screenshots of these of these places and sent them to me. Um, this is freaking awesome. Thank you guys very much. I now have found my coal mine and my potassium nitrate mine. You. Yeah! This is gonna be freaking awesome. Let's uh let's take a look at the coal mine right now, right? Why wait? Because I'm freaking psyched. Uh, I don't have any. Um. Wood frames with me, which is a bit of a, a bit of a problem. Let's just go ahead and make 200 right now. Not that we need them because we would we'll just do this the whole way down. We'll have enough coming up, but I'd rather have too many than not enough. Um, thank you very much, guys. Um, I'm so freaking excited that I now have my coal and potassium nitrate mine. We're going to spend the next seven days getting ready for Horde. We'll probably do some looting as well. Um, oh boy, I'm going to need a, uh, I'm going to need a, uh, who's he, what's it? A thingamabob. Uh, whatchamacallit. Um, I'm gonna need a, um, a poncho coming out here. So, anyway, guys. Um, yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna check out the potassium nitrate mine. We're gonna check out the coal mine. We are going to, um, at that point, we're gonna go... There's a, there's some drop chests over here. When, uh, when... C Carrier Fra uh, uh, sent me the picture. I remember there's some drop-off chests over here. So we're going to go check those out. Then we're going to get home and work on the base. Over the next seven days, it's going to be a lot of base work, um, a lot of gathering stuff for ammo, a lot of car wrenching. And I also want to do some... Um, I also would like to do some, uh, you know, some looting. So I think that would be pretty cool. So, all right, here we go. Uh, is this where the coal is? Yep, this is where the coal is. All right, guys. Oh, this is going to be sweet. All right, let's go ahead and turn that down. 18 should be fine. Now, this is how you, this is how you get stuff, guys. This is how you get stuff. Um, I'd also like to find a mine with um, with uh, lead. Actually, lead is the thing I was running out of even more more so than coal. So that's still coal. This is all coal. But I would like to find a lead vein as well. I'm going to have to keep a lookout for one of those. Um, I thought there might have been a lead vein down here already, but I don't know. Yeah, we've definitely got to keep a lookout for a lead vein. There's also going to be lead on the surface, so it won't be that big of a deal, but I'd also like to find a vein if I can, because that's where you're going to get the majority, you know, of your materials. So, all right, let me check out this mine for a little bit, and then we're going to go... What we're going to do is we're, I'm going to finish checking out this mine. We're going to hit the drop-off chest. Then we're going to check out the potassium nitrate mine, and then we're going to go back to base. Let me see if I can find some lead down here first. All right, guys, I could not find any lead down there. Um, I found another coal node down there, though. Um, now, this is... No, that's coal, actually. Yeah, I'm probably not going to find any coal down there, st strictly speaking, because I'm in the, you know... Uh, I'm, I mean, lead, because I'm in, a I'm in a biome that does coal. So, I'm thinking we might want... You know, we could probably just dig underneath our base and, and probably find some lead nodes. Maybe I'll do that at night. Ooh, lag spike. Um, yeah, maybe we'll do that at night. I can always, you know, right underneath my own base. No, no reason I can't do that. So we'll look for some lead underneath our own base. Hopefully, we'll find some. All right, let's see if we could find these uh, drop chests really quickly. And uh, I'm not going to take too much time looking for them. It looked like there was like two of them. Um, let me see where, I, where they are. Yeah, they're over here somewhere. I'm not really sure. I'll take a look at the map in between videos again. I'm not going to spend too much time looking for drop chests. Yeah, there's definitely a drop chest here, I remember. Yep, there it is. And I think there's even another one in this area. <laughs> okay, apparently I emptied it. All right, fair enough. I'm not even going to mark it since I emptied it. All right, let's, uh, you know what? Let's go check out the potassium nitrate mine. And then after that, we will go home. Uh, I'm not doing too good with drink right now, so I'm not going to stay out for too long. Maybe we'll start the, uh, maybe we'll start the mine. Do we have a trader around here? Um, I wish I could eat snow. Yeah, that looks like a trader over there. Let me go buy something to drink. Um, why is this trader... Locked? Day 71, 13, 1400 hours? This is locked? Uh, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might be able to hop the fence. Maybe somewhere, but then I might not be able to get out. Actually, probably be okay to get out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to break in there, though. The hell with it. I just don't understand why he's locked. That's really weird. I've never had a trader 
locked when it wasn't the proper time for them to be closed. All right, guys, we'll take a little bit of a wellness hit because of the thirst thing. Eh, I really don't care. I'll be home soon enough. All right, so let's check this place out. We should be uh, just about here. Yeah, we're getting close. We're getting close. There we go. I think we just drove over it. Is that it? No. It's over here somewhere. Oh, did I just pass it? Or I don't see it. I mean, I marked it when I was right on top of it, so... Okay, it should be around here somewhere. They're really hard to spot. What I should do is I should build a little platform, like, above it. Make it easier to spot it. See so if we can get some water in here or something. Nope. No such luck. Oh, there it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... Alright, that'll help. Alright, let's take a look at this one. This one, I don't think, went down as far, right? Yeah, this one didn't go down as far. I could see it from here. Yep, and here we are. And this is the potassium nitrate. Yep, this is the potassium nitrate mine. Hells yeah! Alright, that is awesome, guys. That is awesome. So now that I have my mines, that is going to make things a hell of a lot easier on Horde Night. Because I could come down here and just get a ton of materials. It's always hard to nerd pull back up. Like, actually, there we go. That was pretty... That's pretty easy, actually. It's, sometimes it's hard to never pull back up. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go home and we're going to start a mine at home. Or maybe... You know what? All we have to do is hit some gravel in the area where we live and then we know which direction to go into. So let's head home. Let's see where the, let's see where the gravel patches are that have lead. And, um, you know, we'll get some lead. Because don't forget, um, anytime you break up the gravel, it'll give you sand. It'll give you... I think sand and stone, right? Yeah, it gives you sand and stone, and then it gives you a third item. And that third item is what's going to be underneath it. If it gives you iron, that means it's got some iron nodes underneath it. If it gives you lead, it means it's got some lead nodes underneath it. So this is going to make you laugh, guys. I just broke out a piece of uh, gravel right here. And guess what's underneath it? Coal! There's a coal node right underneath my base. That is insane. Oh, boy. Well, what are you going to do? All right, let's see if we can find some lead nodes underneath here, though. That's what I really want is the lead nodes. All right, I'm not seeing anything out here. We could probably go inside and kind of look around, but... Um, oh, look at this. I wonder if there's lead underneath this since it's like a lead patch, right? Yeah, maybe. Let's check. Nope. Iron. Okay. Iron... Iron. Iron is obviously the most common one. That's iron as well. What what uh, biome would would lead be in? I thought it would be in like this forest biome. Maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't you know found it yet. But I'm kind of wondering what's up with that. I need some I need some lead nodes, man. Uh, what do we got over here? Iron. 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 Yeah, this is all iron. Damn it. All right, well, let's keep looking. Let's see what we can find. There might be some uh, patches within my base, too, that I should definitely take a look at. But uh, we could do that at night, so. Iron. Iron. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I have to go to a different biome. I don't know. Iron. Iron, where's the freaking lead? Well, there's potassium nitrate right here. So I've got coal and potassium nitrate within reach of my base. Wow. Can't make this stuff up. I thought, like, lead was more common than this stuff, though. Like, this seems to be, uh... Lead seems to be the hard thing to get right now. Um, well, I'll just keep looking, I guess. It's kind of crazy, right? Finally, I found some lead. Now, are we going to have a bunch of lead? Yeah, this is a good spot for lead. All right, cool. So, um, what we should do is we should just mark this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go underground and we're just going to head this way. Save waypoint. Lead. Alright, let's start uh, Let's start our mine. I can't believe we built this whole base we don't have any freaking mine yet. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Alright, man, we got to get that mine going. Oh, boy. Yeah, crazy day, man. We, you know... We, you might think, well, Cage, you're not really getting a lot done today. I'm getting a lot done. I'm setting myself up for future success. This stuff is really important. I'm telling you right now, 
w- once I get these mines going, um, the materials are going to roll in. It's going to be sick. All right, so I want this to be right in the middle. One, two, two. There is no middle, of course, because it's even. One, two, three, four, five. Why did I make this even? That doesn't seem like me. All right, whatever. We'll just make the mine right here. That is the middle over there, right? One, two, yeah, okay. All right, let's make the mine right here. Not really sure how deep I want it to go, but uh, let's just start digging down. And uh, we'll see. We'll see. As long as we have uh, frames to get out, that's all that really matters. And we need to head north. How far down should we go? Eh, it's probably far enough. Maybe a little bit farther. Alright. There we go. Whoa, what's this? Nothing. Just stone. Okay. We can start heading north now. Alright, let's start heading north. Get over there that lead, man. Once we get that lead going, we gotta get the lead cooked up, and then, you know, then, then it's just a process of, you know, uh, I'm also gonna look for the coal and the potassium. I should have marked the, the coal, potassium, nitrate um, areas as well. But um, it's just about looking for those at this point. All right, guys, that's enough augering for one day. Augering? Is that a word? I don't know. Let's see if I can find my way out of this. Okay, here we go. I need to keep this mine somewhat organized. This is what I ended up with after today. Um, almost four full stacks of stone, two full stacks of iron, a little bit of coal and nitrate, and 2,500 lead. Pretty freaking cool. It might not seem like a lot, but the thing is I found all of my all of my nodes that I need. So that's just, um, it's going to be phenomenal. We're going to have so much ammo. We didn't even use any of the shotgun ammo. I'm thinking I'm thinking about making more shotgun turrets and putting those around, uh, around the outside of the base, pointing out towards the... Hmm, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about... Uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to use shotgun turrets on the horde, even on the outside fence. And I'm trying to think about how I want to do it. Um, I could just put them, like, up behind me. Uh, I could put them up on an angle. I'm not really sure. I'm going to think about the angles I want to use. Because I don't want the zombies to be able to hit them. And I don't want... Um, I also don't want the, the shotgun turrets to hit me. So, I'm going to think about how I want to do that. How would we do that? I mean, honestly, I think the best place to put them would maybe even make something like this and, like, put them up here, like, maybe facing down. Um, honestly, no, because then... Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It's a tough call. Tough call on how I want to do it. I was thinking, like, putting them up here behind me, kind of facing down, but then I'm afraid they're going to hit me. I think on the sides right there might be a good spot, but then if a cop blows up, could destroy it. I don't know how many hit points the turrets have. I think uh, this would probably be a pretty good spot for a turret. Maybe like right here. No, you can't because of the, the fence or the um, catwalk is pointing down. So that block is taken. The other thing I could do is make like a little pole out here and just put them out here on top of a pole, you know, shooting down. The problem is if they're shooting at the enemy and then I'm shooting at the enemy, I'm afraid they'll hit me. You know, the shot because if, if like the shotgun's like... You know, up here, shooting down, and then I'm on the other side of that fence, I'm probably going to get hit. That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. I think the best spot would be for the shotgun here facing this, w this way. But even if I have a shotgun facing this way, as the zombies roll up to the fence, the shotgun's going to follow them and then start shooting, and it's going to hit me. So... No matter what I do like that, I think the shotgun's going to hit me. I'm, I'm not really sure. I'll have to think about it. Honestly, I've just come to the conclusion that I probably want to use the uh, shotgun turrets um, on the outer part of the base on Horde Night. It doesn't have to be, you know, anytime soon. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. All right. So let's come on up here. Let's throw some lead in here. Which one do I want it in? Let's put it in this one. All right. We're going to take that out. Let's put all of the lead in there. Turn that on. Um, fill this up. Uh, you know what? Give it the extra clay. Turn that on. Um, do I really want to go crazy with the steel? You know what? I think I do. I think I do. Steel's what I need, right? I don't really need reinforced concrete right now. I mean, I kind of do, but not really. Um, I'm going to need another layer of spikes. You guys gave me a couple good tips that, um, you know... Everyone told me put more layers of spikes out there and I was definitely gonna do that. That was um Definitely gonna do that. So I mean, I think I mentioned like I was gonna put like three levels of spikes, right? 
But then what someone else was telling me, they said to uh, to be able to repair the spikes, maybe I could do something like this. This is just, uh, I probably won't do this for this build, but because this build's already done. But maybe for a future build, um, I could do something like this. Uh, there we go. Put those right there. And then I'd have... The problem is... Uh, see, the problem is uh, someone said use half blocks so I could duck down here and repair the spikes, right? The problem with that is I'd have to be, on the, I'd have to be one level lower than the zombies to be able to do it, right? Um, even here, I wouldn't be able to repair it. It would have to be like a... Um, it would have to be a... Uh, what is it called? Um, what are those called? Those... They're not half. I forget what they're called. They're kind of like these. Quarter blocks. Quarter. Let's try that. Quarter. It'd have to be like one of these. It doesn't come in wood. So I'm not going to mess around with it. But you'd put a quarter block right here. And then you'd be able to repair the spikes from underneath. The problem with that is... If you're doing that, you're going to be below the zombies. Is that really that big of a deal? I don't know. Maybe it's not. I mean, this does look like I can get some good headshots. But I don't know. I don't know if I like that idea. I'm not going to do it on this base, but maybe I'll maybe I'll design a base one day where I'm like level with the spikes so I could repair them. Because if if the spikes are right here, um, I could definitely repair them no matter what. And the zombies can't get in the way. The problem with that is I'd be shooting up at them. Is that really a big deal? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not going to do it with this build, though, because this build's already spoken for. I've already got the concrete down. I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess around with that. Maybe... Uh, what other worlds do I have? I have um, Darkness Falls. Maybe I could try that in Darkness Falls. It might not be a bad idea. It might not be a bad idea. All right, guys. Um, let's get out there and do some repairs tonight. I don't think I'm going to place down spikes tonight. Uh, we'll save that for a future video. Um... But I think I will do some repairs. So what am I going to need for repairs? I'm going to need these. I'm going to need the wet concrete poles. I'm going to need a lot more con... Oh my goodness. I do not have a lot of concrete. I didn't realize I had that little concrete. Did I put it somewhere else? Got a little bit in here. A little decent amount in there. Enough for the repairs. Did I put concrete somewhere? Like store it? I got to organize my inventory, by the way. My inventory is kind of all over the place right now, unfortunately. Uh, what do we got down here? There we go. No, I'm not seeing any concrete. Hmm. What I would have done with it? Did I put it out here? I guess I could have put it out here. Let's let's take a look. Come on, come on, get down there. There we go. I've got to get some lights out here down here now. I got to get some. Uh, um, I got to make some. Uh, who's he? What's it? Some uh, <laughs> uh, spotlights down here. Uh, yeah, I'm not seeing any. All right, well, I guess we have enough, so it doesn't matter, but... All right, well, let's go ahead and do some repairs, man. For real. All right, repair. There we go. Um, we didn't bring any spikes. Yeah, we should have brought the spikes for the repairs. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and make some more wet concrete poles. Probably not too many more. Let's just do 25 for now. And uh, let's go upstairs and get those spikes. Yeah, because I, I forgot we had spikes that were broken out. So I do have to replace, replace spikes. When I said I wasn't going to take spikes, I was thinking more of um, I'm not putting the second row of spikes down yet. So we really need to get this steel out, though, man. Steel is of the utmost important importance. All right, so uh, you know what? Let's take this. Put it in here. There we go. Okay, let's get some steel out. Oh boy, yeah, because we're going to go through a lot of steel. I want to have this whole base upgraded to steel, including a second row of spikes, at least. Maybe even more. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get more than... Um, let's do this and this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get more than uh, one more row of spikes done, but I, I do eventually want three rows of spikes. So... And like I said, uh, I, have a, I have a new Let's Play. It's kind of new uh, for Seven Days to Die modded series. It's called uh, Darkness Falls. And I haven't built my horde base yet. Yet, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the base kind of like this with that half with that quarter block and leave it to where I could repair my spikes during Horde Night and see how that works. I think that's actually a pretty cool idea. It's, it's just not going to work for me on this mod be, or on this uh, world because I've already got my, my base all set up. So... All right, so let's do this and copy rotation. OK, 
Okay, and like, yep, we'll put that right there and there. Okay, nail gun. Whoop, damn it. Okay, we don't have any more, that's fine. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we need more, you see what I'm saying, man? We need more steel. We desperately need more steel. Okay, uh, where are my spikes? Where are my spikes at? Copy rotation. It's fine. Leave it alone. Um, let's just start digging some of this out. Okay. Yeah, this because eventually this is all going to be reinforced concrete flooring. So, just do it where we can. Hey, what's that? Is that the coal? Yep, that's the coal. Okay. We got to be careful. We don't have a, we don't have a ton of concrete, so we need to be somewhat careful of that. Let's look for any blocks that are broken out down to like this. And any other ones? I think there was one over here. Yep. Here we go. Okay. This stuff's all looking okay. That's looking okay. All right. Now, there's definitely steel repairs I have to do, but I have to wait. For... Shoot. I have to wait for some steel, so. All right. I don't want any other screamers to see me and scream, so let's do this. All right, let's hope she's dead. If she's not, I'm gonna kill her myself. I don't wanna waste all that ammo. Mm, I don't see her. Am I getting cold? Yes, I am. Okay. Cause you see, during the Hornet, I can't repair those spikes cause there's corpses all over them. Did you see her trying to bite me? She, she didn't have any hands. There we go. Come on. There you go. You punk ass. Freaking causing me all kinds of trouble. Okay, so we're good. I might as well loot these guys and uh, cut them up, right? We got some much needed brass. We're going to have to spend like a whole video, guys. Getting, you know, taking apart cars and stuff. Because there's there's no way around it, man. We just we need that brass. And you guys all told me. I asked about you know fixtures in the buildings. Everyone told me in the comments, um, don't bother. The the best way to do it is with cars. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. You know what, guys? I don't really have much else to talk about. I think we're going to call this one a little bit early because I'm just going to be doing repairs here and stuff. So, um, yeah. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, and thank you again for everybody who told me where my potassium nitrate and coal mines and stuff were. Um, it's going to be ridiculously uh, helpful. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. And thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going to call this one here. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.